I'm standing outside Vernon Cottage which is a tea room in the old town in Shanklin. We're about to go down into Shanklin Chine and you'll see some video of that in today's Mr Stephen Has a Holiday. I'm inside Shanklin Chine now. It's a massive ravine with a river running through the bottom of it. It's, a, it's amazing in here. It's like an, a completely different world. In fact, it is a completely different world. The Chine has taken shape over the last 10,000 years and only in the last 200 has man had anything to do with it. You might be able to hear the sound of a waterfall in the background and as you wander through the Chine, you actually follow the path of the river on a, on a winding road that takes you um, over the river and there's some bridges and things to look at. It's really nice in here, it's quite cool. Great visit on a, on a hot day. During the Normandy invasion, there was a problem for how do you get uh, all the fuel across the English, English Channel uh, to our troops over in France? Well, what they came up with was called Pipeline Under the Ocean or Pluto. And actually one of the Pluto lines is here in Shanklin, China. You can see it just, uh, just, just down there, just over, right, just there, just... Shanklin Chine was lovely and it lets out onto uh, Shanklin Beach um, and next to uh, the Fisherman's Cottage, which uh, was an old Fisherman's Cottage and is now uh, not. It's a, a, a restaurant. Uh, we also uh, had a chance to go to the Bainbridge Windmill. And that's it for today. I'm back in the hotel room right now and uh, we're going to go down to uh, to dinner in a minute, so that'll be nice. Um, tomorrow, I think we might be going to Allen Bay. It does depend on what the weather's uh, like. Allen Bay's got these really nice uh, striated cliffs with different sorts of um, sand in, different coloured sand in, so that should be an interesting thing to see. And of course, the Needles is there as well, and if you don't know what the Needles is, it's essentially the logo for the Isle of Wight. It's the thing that everybody in the Isle of Wight associates with the Isle of Wight. Three uh, lumps of chalk sticking up from uh, from the, uh, the ocean and a lighthouse at the end of it. So that should be fun. I'll see you in tomorrow's edition of Mr. Stephen Has a Holiday, and uh, until then, I'm gonna go and have some food and then watch a show in the evening.